Okay, so welcome back again, and I have no freaking clue what went down, to be honest. We basically, we had a little fight with Monsieur Julius, Julius, and now we're here. So let's talk to Beasley Bakir, because apparently he's standing by the side. What's up? I beg your pardon, sir, but could you tell me the time? It appears that my watch has stopped. Wait a minute, aren't you... Never mind, forgive me. I must be imagining things. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know what Beasley, Beasley Bakir is doing here, but... Apparently it's his, I don't know, I assume we're in a different dimension, so it's probably an uh, opposite reality or something. Anyway, we have to find Julius so we can kill him, and I thought we already killed him. Interesting. I don't know where we're heading. I imagine he'd just appear out of thin air. Maybe we should go to the Spurious building, I don't know. Hasn't stopped me yet, so we'll see what happens. Mm, nope, apparently this is the right way. Maybe he's in the house? If I, oh hello. I found a layer. Is this alternate dimension layer? That's our editor-in-chief, let's go get him. We will hear what Alvin has to say too. We'll be combining both of your stories into a special feature. If you don't mind, would I be able to get your consent? Investigate, investigative reporting, this is gonna be tough. My partner was always really good at stuff like this, but I don't know if I can do it. What the heck is going on? So I imagine that is alternate dimension layer, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this is before the game happened at all. Maybe that's what's going down. Maybe we've gone back in time. We do only have Luger, so maybe. So should I head up to our apartment? That's the question. I don't know. It's after Julius, but I don't know where he is. Which is a big problem, really, when you when it's all said and done. So this is either an alternate dimension or a different time, but... I don't know. On the, merits of the, ga on the way the game flows, you'd imagine it's an alternate dimension, but then at the same time, it's kind of like, well... Oh, no, okay, he isn't here. I did go the right way. Oh, it's a dimension. Okay. Not so fast. You know I can't stand dressing up. Well, you need to learn to stand it. Maybe someday. You're impossible. Oh, now I'm really late. I'll make pasta margarita for dinner tonight. Okay. <sighs> Still trying to butter me up with tomatoes. It works, but still. So is this alternate dimension, Julius, or what? I feel like Luger's voice is actually very similar to Jude's. Maybe it, maybe it's meant to be, I don't know. I feel like he could well, he should be older than Jude, but he, he just, just isn't. But that's a shame, I suppose. Anyway, let's see what goes down in this little cutscene. I should probably shut up. Pretty sure this is alternate dimension, Julius, though. Look at him. Look at his glove. What's up? Forget something? Oh. <laughs> I sure wish I could have eaten one last pasta margarita. <laughs> Hey, don't worry about it. There are worse things than being dragged around by your brother. Who showed me that? <laughs> Go on, Luger. Now it's your turn to look after someone special. Go and create your perfect world. <laughs> 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 Mm 
not gonna lie, that was pretty vicious. What? Um, I knew we had to sacrifice Julius and all, but I didn't realize we had to rend him through. That is, that is terrifying, actually. I mean, that is, that is not the easiest thing for one to do, but I guess that's just what went down. Right, report to your comrades, apparently, is the plan, name of the plan now. Well, we, we literally killed him. Uh, what's, what's there to say? Look at the bright side, kid. Now you can get out there and save El. Alvin! You cold-hearted clod, have a heart! At times like this, you gotta keep walking forward. Nothing good will come from looking back. Even if it's for a moment. Am I right? I guess you have a point. Let's go and save El. We'll help you! Of course you will. I'm relying on you. Fools. Don't carry all the guilt on your shoulders. In the end, we were all accomplices in this. Yes. Where exactly is this soul bridge anyway? Didn't we kind of kill him in an alternate dimension? Isn't that kind of a problem? Right, Rowan and Gaius. Guess who we killed? Luger, you did very well. I cannot agree more. After all, destroying a world is burden enough. But this time it's unimaginable. Over the course of my career, I took the lives of thousands of soldiers. When you consider each soldier's potential, what I did was little different than destroying a world. <laughs> I am well aware of my sins, but at the same time, I also believe this. The destruction I wrought paved the way for new things to be born. It's the same here. It arose when you and the others destroyed the closed-off world of Risa Maxia. Precisely why it is my responsibility to safeguard the future of this world. Same here. Luger, this world isn't out of danger yet, but you and Julius have given it the possibility of being saved. Now we must do everything in our power to turn that possibility into reality. Yeah, Gaius and Rowan are freaking cool, dude. They they just know what to say. They're just they're wise and strong and wise disappearing now. What well, I haven't talked to everyone, come on. Oh, maybe I haven't done enough side quests with everyone else. That sucks. I'd like to see what everyone else had to say, actually. In fairness, if the chapter ends, then I guess we can go and do some side quests now, but if it doesn't, then Let's go. I don't know what the plan is. This bridge just might vanish like the old one did. Not this time. Julius is holding it up for us. Hey. You go first. After all, this bridge was built for none other than you. Test it out for us, Luger, just in case you die horribly. You know, don't want to main ourselves. Go, Rolo, you go first. Like a beast. Alright, that is the end of the chapter, so I guess we can have a look around and see if there's any any character quests we can do before we start off the end. I suppose that's something we can do. Alright, you have learned the following skills. Kresnik 3, Break-In Magic Spoils. These can allow you to warp in front of enemies, increase the time you can remain transformed, and also increase the effectiveness of the Allium Orb. Be sure to te set them from the menu and put them to use. Interesting, alright then. Okay, so we got Julius's watch. Let's see what they have to say about that. Long loading time. Is that Julius's pocket watch? You brought it back from his dimension? Must be due to El's powers. You two must still be connected somehow. But Julius's watch has stopped. That's because we ran it through, dude. I'm the one who broke it. This watch is Julius himself. It deserves a rest. It's been dependable to its fault, just like its owner. Oh my god, I don't know which one to say. Uh, This one. Oh. Honey, you should say that when you're Mr. Dependable yourself. It must run in the family. Elle's that way too. She never breaks a promise. Like father, like daughter, huh? You should see yourselves. 
You all smile the same way. We should line you all up and compare. Then what are we waiting for? We have to find out. Except Julius is dead, dude. Like, how are we doing that? Right, let's just check the map quickly, if I can. Got to press all the buttons because I forgot which one. Yeah, so look, there's loads of stuff to do. Jeez. All right, so let's go do the character quest while we still can. <laughs> I guess we're going to put off going into Canaan. Never mind. I thought we'd be there by now, but whatever. So we are looking for said side quest, which is in there. There's also another quest that we can do by the Spurious headquarters. I guess we'll go there. Uh, we're, we're trading whatever quest this may be. I imagine it's just a random little Gaius, story side quest. Is that a copy of the Gourmet's Guide to Olympias? I didn't oh, it's Nova. It What's up, uses... Nova? Oh, no. What have I done? I bet you're glad I... I bet someone's glad a stop hold's being placed on their debt collection, huh, Luga? Sure. We're only temporarily ceasing active recompensation. Re <sighs> you must know someone high up, kid. Anyway, you're free for now at least. Hey, just remember, this doesn't mean your debt's been forgiven. If you stop paying it back, we'll eventually have to classify your account as delinquent. Let's just say that we'd be forced to use a different approach in our customer service tactics. Huh? What? What she means to say is, um, I think it was pretty clear the way I worded it. Wait, are you actually going to come fight me? Because you'll get killed, dude. So feel free to stop by and repay your debt in whatever instalments you deem convenient. I'm sure we'll be seeing you again. Thanks, but I'll handle his finances. Don't you worry. Um, okay. <laughs> Interesting. So what exactly did we achieve there? So we still got a debt, basically. You're no longer obliged to pay your debt. That's great, but you can really just... Okay. So we're allowed to actually pay the debt. I never Because I imagine there's an ending of the game if you just pay off your entirety of your debt. So if we press the Nova phone button, that's what what was the Nova phone button? I am capable of many things. Okay, I can't I can't even find it. Let's just do Leia's quest then. Leia, what's up? What do you need done for you? Leia's story I imagine this is the final chapter. I I feel I feel like it should be. This is the final Oh good. Alvin, perfect timing. You two are coming with me. Of course we are. Alright, Leia Chapter 4, The Hard Truth. What are you going to find out? Something, something sticky. Good day, sir. Huh? Something I can help you with? Actually... You're writing an article about what I think of Rizomaxia? Does that bother you? It's not that I mind so much as, well, what's in it for me? Huh? He wants a little something-something. Spoken like a true Olympian. Hey, people will be talking about this, right? Why should I play the ugly face of Olympian intolerance for Jack Squat? Pay up or I shut up. Uh... Well, you're right about the ugly part. There's no other way to solve this. Let's not offend him. That doesn't seem necessary. I'm not trying to be a hard ass here. It's just the way of the world. Okay, fine. If we're talking money, that might be a problem for me. But what if I came in here and cleaned? Day in and day out. Huh? You could offer him sexual I favors. Mean, I'll still have to worry about my day job, but I can come clean mornings and nights. And I have customer service experience too. I could stock shelves or even work the booths. I promise I'll stay out of your way no matter what you have me do. So say yes, will you? Pretty please? Hmm. If it really means that much to you, fine. Go ahead and write whatever you want. Thank you so much. Besides, I wouldn't mind hearing what Rizomaxians think of Olympias. And don't worry about doing any cleaning or nothing. Seems like people do work for free sometimes. Well, I'm not going to make a habit of it. It's just, this really was starting to make me look like a villain. I'll bring you a draft of the story before it goes to print. Got it. Make it a good one. Yes, sir. Did you even need his permission? I'm glad he was willing to cooperate. Yeah, he even seemed legitimately interested in the perspective of Riza Maxians. Kind of puts a lot of weight on your shoulders, huh? I suppose it does. All right, the finish line's in sight. Luger, I'm staying at your place tonight. I'll work on the article all night if I have to. Come on, that's overdoing it, even for you. I need space to concentrate. I don't even have my own desk at work. It'll be fine. You guys will be there for moral support, right? No. Come on, please. What do you say? Should we help her see this through? Oh, boy. Thanks. 
Okay, it's coffee time. I will absolutely, positively have this story on my editor's desk first thing in the morning. Well, if I'm gonna see it through, you have to help me out, you know. You gotta pay me money, cleaning, do some cleaning for me, maybe even a few sexual favors, there's all this kind of thing. Anyway, let's go to the apartments. I imagine that's where Leia's waiting for us. Yeah, gotta get a little cozy. Uh, do I have anything in here? No. All right. Uh, I imagine she's up here. Yeah. Oh, of course she is. Where else would she be? She did say she was gonna be staying up all night writing a story, as you do. Clearly. Right, Leia. What's up? We might get there someday. Right about now. How's it going, peeps? How's the story going? Better get started. Oh God. Sorry, Luger. Gonna need your room for a while. Can you just take Julius's? He's dead, dude. Don't those off in there. Not gonna happen. And she's asleep. I think Leia went to turn in her article. Wait, what? We should try to catch up with her. Let's wait till she gets back. No, why would we do that? We want to read the article, dude. Yeah, I'm kind of curious myself. Let's go. She couldn't have gotten far. Okay, I guess we're chasing after her. Where? Where is she? Can we just fast travel? We can go to the station and we can go to the apartments, so... Clearly she's not any of, in any of those places. Maybe I should check the map. Where are you, Leia? Oh, she's by the sea haven. Interesting. I guess the easiest way is to walk. Maybe she failed miserably at writing. I don't know. That seems like a very Leia thing to do, really, doesn't it? She hasn't really succeeded in anything in her entire life, and... Now isn't the time to start! No, oh, hew, hew, hew. No, that's a bit mean, really. I'm sure she's very successful as a writer. Although, you know, she never appeared to be the smartest of the characters, and I feel like in order to be a journalist, you have to have a half a brain on you at the very least. Maybe you don't need to be the brightest bunch in the bananas, but <laughs> brightest bunch, the brightest bunch of bananas? I don't know if that's actually a saying. The brightest, af no, uh, whatever. Either way, you have to be that to be a reporter. But you can be. You did all this research? Yes. You certainly are tenacious. This'll do. I'll run it. What? Really? Now, tell me what you learned. Well, up until now, I'd always just written my own opinions about things that I thought were interesting. But after doing all the interviews this time, I realized I had been going about this the wrong way. Our job as journalists is to present an objective and accurate perspective and then let the readers come to their own conclusions. Objectivity and accuracy. Those two elements are the key points here. Isn't that See, obvious? It sounds like you're the type of person who learns by doing. You should keep that in mind from now on. What? That's the most Is obvious Leia thing ever. a full-fledged journalist now? No. Hardly. She still lets herself get too close to the story, and she doesn't take into account the impact she has on her readers. Nevertheless, she showed good journalistic instincts with this piece, and she isn't afraid to do legwork. She has potential. You should tell her that. I'll tell her you said that. <laughs> Don't go giving that rookie a big head now. Nice work. Seems your editor finally accepted you. You heard that, huh? Thanks, guys. I couldn't have done it without you. I'm not about to let up either, and I hope you'll keep helping me chase down the stories. <laughs> you got it. Luger, from now on, I'm going to pay close attention to the fractured dimensions and everything that takes place within them. And then, I'm going to make sure that I'm able to convey all of that to the rest of the world. That way, their lives will have meaning. Or they die horribly in a pit of fire. But that's okay. Either way, I guess we win somehow. Sure. So Leia's story's pretty much Luger, finished, I think. Bam! Got you something! Good. It's a surprise gift! We've been through an awful lot lately. And I oh man, that sounded pretty heavy. Let me dial it down a notch and just say thank you. Alright, cool, we got a lacrosse stick. Wait, is that a weapon? We actually got some quite a few weapons, actually, because we got this, which is Beastie, I think, oh, those are Julius's weapons, so I guess we're using that. So what's the lacrosse stick? How do I use it? Wait, is it? It's possibly a weapon for herself. She gave me a weapon for herself. 
So he actually did, but it's freaking awesome. What the heck? It's so good. Why is that? Oh well. I'll take that. Cool. So let's do the next character quest, which uh, handily is actually in Triglyph as well. Now I can't entirely remember whereabouts it was. It was probably near... no, it's probably... I don't know. Hmm. Oh, we're going to a less high road route. Let's try round there. We'll see what we can see. Wrong button. I keep doing that. Right, whereabouts are we? Okay. So Torbal and Highland would have been better, but it's not exactly a far change. Oh, we got Swallow Kick LU, whichever. Whatever that means. No one actually knows what that means, right? Probably means Luger. Luger. It might mean Luger, actually. Probably not. Probably not bad guys. Gaius! What's up? We're gonna find out if he, what's his face, actually killed the person or not. Guys, chapter four, what the king must do. Not what he may do, what he must do. Hey, I just arrived myself. Good stuff. You guys worried about Kyle too? It's been a while since I heard anything from him. I only hope this dread I'm feeling is just my imagination. Okay, all right, we're going inside. <laughs> Who knew? Who knew? Hey, they're here. Oh man, what's going on? Hey, Erston. I'd offer you a drink, but we're in the middle of an interrogation here. Not that you seem to care. Tanner, Kyle, are you unhurt? <sighs> they just grabbed us out of the blue. Kyle. You beat up these children? Oh, please. It's not that bad. We simply taught these punks to respect the law. After all, they were obstructing a murder investigation. What? Plenty of witnesses were there. They all saw what happened. They watched Kyle shove and kill that soldier. No way. <laughs> I... I blew it, Biggie. But that soldier started it. He was harassing me even though I didn't do squat. He treated me like a criminal. That Riza Maxian started the whole thing. I'm sorry, Biggie. I'm so sorry. I'm not the one you need to apologize to. Oh, that reminds me, Erston. There are some folks I would like for you to meet. Hey, let him in. I'm so sorry. You have my deepest condolences. Huh? This man and woman are none other than the grieving parents of the murdered Risa Maxian soldier. <laughs> Is this the kid who killed my son, Detective? Allegedly. The case isn't closed yet. Tell me why. Why did you do it? Why did you kill our son? <laughs> so, what do you think? Do you still insist on protecting this man, Erston? It can't be easy when one of the subjects you've sworn to protect wails for her dead son. <clears throat> huh? What are you talking about? Open your eyes. This man is no run-of-the-mill Risa Maxian. He is King Gaius of Risa Maxia. Huh. Did you really think he was some Joe Schmo in your little gang? Big E? Come on. Say it ain't so. Yeah. He's right. Huh? The scene of the crime was Marksburg, which is under the joint jurisdiction of both countries. That means Risa Maxia is in a unique position to demand custody of the suspect. Is... is that true? I could do that, however... However, that sort of thing would cause one heck of an international incident, I bet. The Risa Maxians would be up in arms and out for blood over the incident. It might even poison the current negotiations on tariff autonomy that are so very important to Risa Maxia. I know. Biggie. Just think about it, Kyle. Who do you really believe is on your side here? The Risa Maxian king who's been pretending to be your friend this whole time? Or me, a fellow Olympian? I don't know what to tell you. Take me with you. I'll talk.
Your Majesty. My boss's boss's boss is waiting at the Marksburg Inn. If you'd be so kind as to come and meet with my superior, I'm sure the both of you could discuss more than a few words in private. With Reza Maxia's cabinet ministers, I imagine. Yes, exactly. You imagine right. Hmm. Something suspicious is going on behind the scenes here. We can sense it. Gaius. I think Gaius can sense it too. I know. It's true I could use my powers to protect Kyle from prosecution. But then I would fail as a king. I wouldn't be able to face my people. Hmm. Maybe Luger can break him out, dude. That's something Luger can do, right? So where are we heading? Marksburg? Yeah, boys. Let's head to Marksburg then. I find it odd that there's only one entrance to Marksburg that we're allowed to use. I, I don't know, I just find that weird. Alright, okay, let's head to the inn and see what's going down. We should return there immediately. Yeah, we're going, dude. Come on. Oh, something's going down. Hello! Do we have to stay in a room? We have to buy a room. Thank you for waiting, Your Majesty. You're welcome, sir. Everyone is assembled in the conference room. If you would follow me, please. Luger, what are your thoughts on Kyle's crime? If it's true he killed a man, he must be tried for it. I know this situation is a sticky one, but I still... I think we should... He has to He has to be tried for it. You make it sound so simple. Such clarity comes from having a strong sense of morality. Or he's never liked Kyle. what I must do, and I am grateful for it. Although I like Kyle too, but, you know, we have to. It's, it's wrong not to. Oh, we don't get to listen in. What will happen to Kyle? I agreed to extradite him to Olympias. Did you win a concession on the tariffs in return? The ministers are thrilled. They said the life of one soldier was a small price to pay. What about the soldier's family? Did you really approve of that, Gaius? Probably not. I'm gonna go with him, he didn't. In my position, personal feelings are irrelevant. Were I just a normal friend, perhaps I might have tried to save Kyle from being arrested. That must have been hard. It is my duty. Wise decision, your majesty. You allowed Olympias to save face, but it also brought a great boon to your people. To be completely honest, I didn't think you had it in you. I wish I were as good at my job as you are. Well then, I'll be off. Until next time. I would have preferred it if he were openly insulting. Olympias is the one that holds the upper hand when it comes to negotiations between the two countries. That man probably set this whole thing up. He knew full well I wouldn't act against the interests of Riza Maxia. Was that camera? Oh boy. Pardon me. Would you mind throwing this away for me? Are you sure, sir? Yes. Oh, what? Don't throw that away. It was a gift. It was a gift for a man named Erston. A gift from his friends. I have no right keeping it. But it's proof that you had any friends at all. People who actually wanted to spend time with you. As a normal man, as Erston. I think that humans and spirits alike all need people who will accept them for who they truly are. Hmm. What'll it be? I'll hold on to it. Luger, let's have a group photo sometime. You, me, and all the others. Oh my god, guys, I smiled. 
Ew. <laughs> right, we did it. That's the end of Gaius' chapter. I imagine that's the end of Gaius' story as well. Not not particularly conclusive, but there you go. I guess that's done. Thank you, you very much so for joining me. Until next time, good night.